Here it is on one of those hot July days in the Catskill Mountains. And I'm sitting by a black walnut tree. Yes, this plant right here is not black walnut. This is jewelweed, but this big tree right here is black walnut. And it has these compound leaves. Here's one that's fallen off, but you can still see the form of it. It has these matched pairs of leaves and this long compound leaf. But what you're really going to notice with the black walnut long about this time of the year is the black walnuts falling down. And if they fall on your head, they're hard enough to really give you quite the clunk. Where they fall, they often leave a little smack and it's a quite the stain. As a matter of fact, when you're collecting black walnut to use as an herbal medicine, do be careful because it will stain your hands, stain your clothing, stain your baskets. This is a great dye, and it's ready to dye just about anything a dark color. Sometimes that color could be almost purplish, and so that's, that's kind of nice. We like that. It's also got a really interesting smell to it. And those smells, we remember, come from volatile oils. They're like the smells in rosemary or sage. Those are volatile oils. And all volatile oils are antifungal, antimicrobial, and antibacterial. And so black walnut is revered. This outer covering, this nice smelling outer covering on the black walnut. This is the nut that's inside this covering here. Once you get this off, and this is the part that we use as medicine, then there's a nut in there. The squirrels have been working on that nut and getting right down in there, right? It's a, like a walnut, only it's a black walnut. There's a lot less meat in there than in regular walnuts. And it's it can be pretty hard. I have actually had black walnuts that people cracked out of there and, and made things with, but they're, they're not easy to get to. More often, what I have seen is this green hull used as medicine. It's used as a soak to get rid of fungus on your toenails. It's uh, tinctured up and then sprayed on your skin to get rid of skin rashes and infections on the skin. And of course, it's also taken internally with the idea that it's cleansing or purifying. I don't use it that way. And I think that it actually it's far too harsh to use internally. I much prefer to use black walnut externally. One person who was working with this used to collect hers and then throw them in the driveway. And the cars would run over them. And she said that was the easiest way to get the green part off of the nut part was so that cars and trucks run over them. And then she'd go out every other day and pick up the green pieces, which is what she wanted to use. You can see how they that breaks apart from the nut there. And yes, it is best to use it when it is bright and green, but even that will work. Green blessings are everywhere, and be careful because some of them fall off trees, bonk, and hit you in the head.